Hi everyone, my name is Athena Island and we are talking about AI products. Today we are here in Botanical Japanese Garden, surrounded with sakuras and all other flora and fauna which belongs to Japan. We are waiting for Alexander Hanin, who is a CEO and founder of Vision Labs. Vision Labs is a startup who is creating a technology which detects people's faces. And then later you can use your face as your personal ID. Hey, how are you doing? Hi, I'm fine. And you? Yeah, good. So, that's going to start? Yeah. The first question will be about your background. I really want to know, so, where did you study and how did you start your business? Yeah, so I graduated Bauman Moscow State Technical University in 2011. So tech tech. <laughs> yeah, it's mm -hmm. really deep tech. Mm -hmm. uh, and my specialty was robotics and robotic systems. Mm -hmm. So from, from the very beginning I was fond of robotics and so that's why I decided to, uh, to go to Bauman University. And since the third grade my, all my diploma topics was about robots and mechatronic systems. So all about uh, robot brains, robot arms engines and so on and so on. So you were creating robots for friends of people? <laughs> we were creating different types of robots, industrial robots, special robotics and robots for autonomous navigation. Mm -hmm. Well, talking about your business, how did you start? I started my business when I was a PhD student in 2012. So I understood that if you're doing robotics in Russia, so it's mostly military applications and some industrial applications. So this is not for me. So, uh, but you're doing international business, right? Right now I'm doing international business. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I started my business from license plate recognition and then we transformed. So we made several pivots mm -hmm. and uh, stopped on facial recognition. So right now we have international company with more than 100 employees mm -hmm. uh, with headquarters in Amsterdam mm -hmm. with offices in uh, Moscow, Dubai and Singapore. Mm -hmm. Good. And talking about tech, uh, can you just describe what is it about and also about the product a little bit more detailed? So we are creating industrial level software, enterprise level software for computer vision and it's mostly about facial recognition, human understanding, human behavior understanding. So usually we, uh, we call it uh, human centered. Uh, In what kind? All about humans. And, but our flagship product is Luna platform. This is a platform for facial recognition in huge scale for any type of business. For any type of company scale. Mm -hmm. And what kind of data you are analyzing? We are analyzing the huge amounts of photo data and video data. This is live stream from uh, huge networks of uh, CD cameras, so like band camera, retail chain camera. And also we are analyzing uh, different lists mm -hmm. uh, to match people with uh, watch list, with uh, VAP list, uh, with the list of loyal customers, mm -hmm. with the list of customers of the bank, etc. Mm -hmm. etc. Et and what kind of clients do you have? So most of them are banks or retail companies or? 70% of our clients are banks mm -hmm. because um, this is um, next generation banking trend when you deploy a digital banking platform. So this is digital ID, digital platform. Mm -hmm. No one wants to rely on uh, ordinary paper passport. Yes, this is uh, really an old fashioned style type of identification. Um, everyone now believes that your face is your passport. Your face is your passport. Mm -hmm. So, and this is our key idea. And um, mm, our difference from 99% of competitors that we focused on business applications. Mm -hmm. Not police, not uh, special forces applications, business applications to increase convenience and to increase uh, the level of service for the customers. And this is fully based on deep neural networks and our know-how on 
quantization and pruning of these deep neural networks to make it cost effective for, um, for business and embedded devices. Mm -hmm. And by the way, do you have a lot of uh, competitors? We have hundreds of competitors in general because now it's uh, really hype if you're an AI startup with blockchain, etc. <laughs> but uh, the real guys, maybe five, ten companies all over the world. And uh, so mostly from China, Israel, Japan, and the United States. And do you have IP registered? Yes, we have registered IP in Amsterdam, in mm -hmm. our headquarter. Mm -hmm. So several patents on how to train deep neural network and how to make uh, quantization of deep neural network. Mm -hmm. Well, we were talking about business and uh, I would like to ask you, can you please tell me, uh, is, it, is your technology and your product useful for uh, any other people in the world, not just for business? So right now we have totally more than 1 million cameras globally operating with our software. Mm -hmm. This is sensors mm -hmm. and we have more than uh, 500 million faces totally globally in our databases. Uh, this database is located on the partner side of our customer side, like bank, etc. But uh, so this numbers mean that this really popular thing for the end users mm -hmm. and right now we have um, a lot of good wishes <laughs> from the customers mm -hmm. from the customers from the end users because they like uh, the way we are doing business mm -hmm. because we are thinking first of all about convenience of the end customers and right now for example you can use your face to pay mm -hmm. you can use the face to get inside the office, you can get, uh, you can use your face uh, to get loan mm -hmm. application, etc., etc., and it just saves your time, and you can spend spare time for your family, for your hobby, etc. So, yeah, it's really useful. Well, and uh, what about privacy? What do you think? Hmm. We are operating right now in 38 countries, and. We are keeping in mind the regulation of each country. So right now our software is fully compliant to all local regulations. And if you comply to local regulation, it means the privacy is protected. Mm -hmm. um, and I can say more that we are going further and we are just encrypting all the data we are storing in our databases and we are operating with fully depersonalized data. So we have several confirmations that on the algorithm level, we're working just with depersonalized data. Mm -hmm. So, can you please tell something to those people who are worrying about privacy and to those who are thinking that artificial intelligence is following everyone and sees everything? Yeah, so I can recommend uh, for these people uh, to keep doing uh, like uh, ancient style work, uh, uh, to ride horse uh, to the office, etc. Et but seriously, uh, just ask the vendor of the software, the developer of the device, which is using uh, AI or facial recognition, just ask in the documents and please check if it's compliant to your local regulation or not. So this is super easy, super honestly easy. speaking. Yeah, and also, uh, the decision to use face recognition or not this is usually like a trade-off between privacy and convenience. So we are trying to provide a solution which is good balanced for both privacy and uh, convenience. Uh, so uh, if you want to be fully protected, I highly recommend to use uh, facial recognition and AI devices. If it's okay for you to use uh, old-fashioned paper passports, a uh, uh, lot of paper, think about forests and, <laughs> <laughs> and think about a uh, um, lot of people who are trying to rob you, to copy your uh, passport, to copy your bank card. So, because the most common problem of uh, our generation is identity theft. People usually trying to, to steal your identity, to steal your money, 
uh, to sell your apartment, etc. So it's usually the trade-off, and uh, my choice is AI. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> I think that after our interview, a lot of people will sleep comfortably and feel safe. <laughs> I hope so. Today, uh, we were talking with Alexander from Vision Labs, and now we know that artificial intelligence can save your time and money, and now you can pay with your face in banks and different other shops, and don't use paper.